very beginning forms um, form of this. And so there's just going to be thousands of hands connected, all connected together, and going up in this this large spiral that will just continue to grow. Uh, it'll, it'll be all totally covered and will, you know, just kind of come out in a wave. There'll be many different uh, levels. There'll be some thickness to this as it goes up. Some of these earlier pieces before I started doing the, the hands, um, people just wrote down some of their dreams. Um, but I like the, the hand idea better. So. And that's where the paper and then, goes in. Yeah, so then the papers uh, that have the obstacles written on it are punched through this. So this goes on the tour with me. So I never see what your obstacles are. That's kind of private. So they get poked in there, and then I'll bring it back, and I'll actually poke then firecrackers and junk in there, and then light a fire in here. So it's pretty spectacular. We do it at night. It's pretty fun. So you get to watch your... And there's something really awesome about watching all that crap, you know, just get burned up. And then we're ready to rise together. <laughs> Very, it's very, it's deep. Uh, uh, the meaning is yes. for the piece. Yes, yes. Well, and then the whole idea is, you know, when this thing, it's never really ever going to be done. Um, it's going to keep growing, just this continued spiral upward of people, you know, striving to break through, kick through their dreams, kick through their obstacles, like that liberty form. Yeah. And we're interconnected, like. You know, I'm, I'm having some hands helping others up, and then we're all just rising. So hands from all over the U.S. united around freedom, you know, and, it, and we need to help each other get there. No, no yeah, yeah. 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 It's helping and the it's other one artists. thing, you know, that, that we can be united on. <laughs> so. What's your dream? Or what's, what's your wish? What's your, if you have a wish list, what do you... Yeah. What do you well, my wish is that I can get some, you know, serious funding to help me with the, the Liberty Tours. The Liberty Tours. Yeah, because I've, I've depleted my own, my own private funds. And, um, but I want to keep moving with it just because I've seen the impact and I've, I've seen how uh, it has encouraged other people to... Yeah. You know, there's women that wear those t-shirts that are fighting cancer. There's others that are going on their first marathon runs and they wear that t-shirt to remind them, you know, that where strength comes from. So, okay. so I, want, I don't want to ever stop with this tour. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Um, so, do, do you have anything for beginner welders? Oh, you know what? I sure do. I offer welding experiences, so you can call my number, 208-703-6461, and I am um, happy to have you come into my welding studio, and I'll give you a, a simple project to work on, and you know, for in a two-hour time, you can learn some very basic welding techniques and go home with something that you made. So I, I would really love to do that. That sounds fun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Now, do you charge that? Yeah. Unfortunately, I've got Liberty to haul around, so that's seventy-five dollars an hour. That's for, fine. Yeah, for welding. Um, that includes materials. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's good. Do you uh, are you in any art galleries around the country? Or are you just here? Um, well, I mainly do private commission work. Not mainly. That's that's 100% private commission is my my focus. So I have a lot of public art pieces um, uh, out in Eagle. I've got the cauldron at the airport. I have um, the downtown. Yeah, hall. I've got a 17 foot tree in um, the private. Uh, airport, Jetson Jack Center, Jetson Jack, Jackson Jet Center. <laughs> Jackson Jet Center. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guilty. Okay, yeah, Jackson Jet Center. That's the corporate, private corporate um, 
terminal anyway. Oh, it, by the airport? Uh huh. Yeah, oh. Yeah. At, yeah. And then the the Special Olympics cauldron is at the airport. Um, I've got a the pipe tree at the watershed. Um, that's uh, by that's at the Boise. Um, shoot, I don't know where my work is. It's all over the place, isn't it? <laughs> Uh, how do people connect, or how do you how do you get connections? Word of mouth. Just, they, yeah, it's just all word of mouth. Yeah. I'm working right now on a project. It's a twice life size cast bronze sculpture of Lincoln um, that will be installed at Julia Davis Park next to the Black History Museum, and that will be unveiled June 12th. So that'll be a big deal. People are coming from across the country for that. I'll, I'll make sure to come. It'll be one of the biggest uh, cast bronze Lincolns seated in the world. So that's kind of cool. And it's a reproduction of a Gutzen Borglum piece. Gutzen Borglum was the guy that did Mount Rushmore. And so there was a, it's an interesting story how we scanned the original piece in Newark, New Jersey, and then had it laser cut out of foam and then all this anyway it's so it's going to be cool be a real landmark for Boise. well i'll, be, I'll make, make sure to come there and video all this so you can yeah. they can see that on, oh yeah on the youtube installation too will be interesting yeah i don't know how that's going to happen because well, i've got to fit a seated lincoln in bronze onto a carved uh piece of sandstone so it's going to be huh i know it'll work oh, that's fine <laughs> Let me video that too. That'd be a funny, yeah. interesting thing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Oops! I know. I need another sham. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, that's yeah. funny. Um, so. Let's see what else is there. I'm just trying to uh, have, trying to help out other artists and also oh, you. Okay. Oh, uh, other artists that have influenced me, or? Well, yeah, that. Yeah, what? Yeah. So there's a couple of other female artists in town that have um, I really admire. Uh, Zella Bardsley is one, and um, Sue. <laughs> Steel always Steel Sue, what used to be her professional name, Sue Lata. So they're just um, wonderful artists that have, and they both went to BSU to about the time that I have. And did. And you still and, talk to them? Oh yeah, I see them from time to time. But we've all kind of gone, you know. They're, I know. Your lives get busy, but yeah, yeah. I admire their work and just give them hoo haws. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, any other uh, artists uh, around the country that you admire? Uh, metal artists? Um. I'm so terrible with names. Well, I um, Gilbert Beretta in San Antonio. I really admire what he does. And um, got other lady, Lu Louise. Um, shoot, she did a big giant spider. She's really has a really unique approach to her work. She's very famous. What if I get your website or her website? I know. Do you have a link or anything? You know who I'm talking about. People know. <laughs> I'll find Can't it. Can't think of her last name, but you know, I've, I think of all the artists that have that I've most connected with. He's dead now, but Antonio Gaudi, love that guy. Was he uh, around he was here? No, he was from Spain. Oh. And he's done just some very crazy, forward-thinking, fanciful type. Um, work, uh, not just in metal, but everything. And he was one of the original artists that reclaimed materials and used, you know, broken pot shirts and stuff. As much as you could at that time, you know, we have more scraps now, but he, right. he would take broken pottery and, and build beautiful homes and stuff. Yeah, decorate.